But right now, let me invite here Major General Oke Ugo retired, representing Malam Nuhuri Badu NSA for his two minutes goodwill message. Thank you, Mr. MC. Your Excellencies, uh, let me particularly recognize my own governor, Senator Hope Uzodima, governor of Imo State, and all other governors here present, you're highly recognized. For want of time, let me please again stand. It will not break. I'll stand on the existing protocol. I am Major General Keogo, retired. I am representing the National Security Advisor here today. I am uh, the Southeast Zona Coordinator of the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons. Like uh, many of us here we know, in pursuit of the non-kinetic approach, to eliminate these uh, illicit arms that are causing the problems for us, the federal government has established this national center for the control of small arms and light weapons in the office of the National Security Advisor. The center now has six uh, regional offices, one in each of the geopolitical zones of Nigeria. And the one for Southeast is located in Enugu, which I heard. It's in this regard that the National Security Advisor has directed me to come here today to represent him because he's unavoidably absent. So it is my honor and privilege to represent my boss today because of uh, other engaging uh, national duties he cannot be here. He has also sent his uh, best wishes to this August occasion and is very happy about the summit. May I now please read his speech as uh, given to me, starting now. Let me start by expressing my sincere appreciation to the Southeast Governors Forum for the invitation to share my thoughts at this August meeting. Indeed, this opportunity could not have come at a better time, considering the, the various emerging security challenges confronting the Southeast zone and indeed the entire nation. This summit is expedient as it affords us the opportunity to discuss pertinent security issues affecting the Southeast zone. The summit also provides a veritable platform for all stakeholders to strengthen existing ties and build the path of progress for the Nigerian people. As you are all aware, we are at a period where the Southeast and the entire nation are faced with daunting and multifaceted security threats. This is coupled with the impact of recent economic downturn and stiff competition of dwindling national resources, among others. There is therefore no gainsaying that we must devise measures to bridge all obstacles that could hinder the advancement of our common objectives and create the enabling environment for a prosperous future for our citizenry. I therefore have no doubt that our interaction during this summit shall elucidate actionable ideas that will un un undoubtedly set the stage for us to achieve the desired objectives. The Office of the National Security Advisor, on its part, will continue to explore new ways and means of enhancing collaboration with all stakeholders in the Southeast to effectively checkmate security threats and set conditions for a stable and prosperous environment for the good people of our region and the nation at large. 
the Office of the National Security Advisor will also remain resolute in contributing its quota to the collective responsibility of enhancing national security and economic well-being of the people of the South East Zone and the nation at large. Let me once again thank Your Excellencies for inviting me to this summit. I appreciate you for your continuous efforts and dedication to providing support to the various security agencies and other stakeholders in the region. I also commend you for working assiduously to make the summit a reality. Your great strides of providing a platform for progressive development of the people of the Southeast and beyond is worthy of emulation. I also wish to use this opportunity to appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, GCFR, for all the support he has been given to the Office of the National Security Advisor and to the people of the Southeast region and to the nation at large. I thank Your Excellencies once again for making this auspicious gathering a reality. There is no gain saying that we shall forge new paths to guarantee our cohesiveness and resolve in moving this great nation forward. Once more, I thank you for the invitation and wish you all fruitful deliberations. God bless us all. Thanks.